Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Therefore, as a Christian, you are a disciple of Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Seek to share the gospel with a stranger or a friend. Good works have been prepared for us that we should walk in them. Walk, therefore, dear Christian, bring others to his side. Lead them to salvation, where forever they'll abide. Testify with word and deed, give a true account. Witness with your love and life, for these are paramount. Demonstrate his mercy and let your actions sing. O child of God, rejoice. You're a disciple of the King. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 14 to 16. But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed and do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defence to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear having a good conscience that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. And 2 Corinthians 2 verses 14 to 16. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one we are the aroma of death leading to death and to the other the aroma of life leading to life.